My name is Dan Pagnuti. My story starts off probably about 1978. Um, started off by um, getting migraines. Uh, it wasn't until about 1984, when I was about 14, that I started getting uh, prescriptions uh, to alleviate the pain, and uh, those were uh, furanol with about a quarter grain of codeine. And by the time I was 17, I was getting uh, half a grain of codeine, and that was about the same time I started smoking marijuana or cannabis. Uh, it wasn't until a little later on that I found out that cannabis would also help with the pain. Um, but because I was purchasing on the street, I didn't know exactly what strain was helping with the pain. When I got a job in Toronto and um, uh, got a membership at the Toronto Compassion Centre, I did um, find out what strain worked for me. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, it was it was tears that caused me to find out what that strain was, and I'll explain. One morning at work, it was probably about 10 o'clock in the morning, and um, I, I went to my boss in tears. I had to get him to drive me home, uh, drive yeah, and and get somebody to follow us so that he could get a ride back because there was no way I could drive myself home. Um, I didn't have a family doctor here, uh, so there was nothing I could get uh, to alleviate the pain, but from the Compassion Center, I did have something called Northern Lights. Um, uh, so I rolled myself up a little spliff of what I had, and before I put it out, my migraine was gone. Well, I finally had uh, a strain that I knew relieved my migraines. Um, and... Um, Suffice it to say, I didn't need a, a, a GP or a, a general practitioner to, uh, to rely on or, or any pharmacological um, drugs. So now I grow my own strains. I, I don't grow Northern Lights, but I grow strains that are close. Um, my neurologist only allows me 15. Uh, however, once we win our injunction and... Um, we, we get our MMAR uh, back in full force, I will twist his, uh, twist his arm to give me a little bit more and I'll, I'll, I'll get a little bit more um, strains under my belt and um, uh, hopefully I'll get that Northern Lights strain in my garden as well as a few CBD strains and um, I'll be able to help out a few of our, a uh, few other patients under our uh, MMAR coalition. The, the furanols uh, I, I wound up getting off of because um, my doctor uh, that I had lost back, I guess, in 19, uh, that would be back in 1987, I guess, after he gave me the, the half-grain codeine, um, he disappeared. The next doctor that, that came across would not prescribe uh, furanols because of kickback migraines or something to that effect. So um, when I came to Toronto, um, the next doctor I got would not prescribe furanols either, but would prescribe oxys. I don't understand. Um, so now uh, my prescription is, is oxys. However, I'm trying to get off of those. Um, because I would much prefer cannabis, and oxys are, are too addictive. Uh, cannabis is not. We all know that. My success rate so far, I've been able to cut my oxys in half. So I would say within another two to three months, I should be off of those entirely and um, just have uh, oxys in my cabinet. And my doctor or my GP has informed me that once I am off my oxys, I should be able to get off my um, antidepressants. And that leads to my next story, um, which is um, uh, a bit of depression that I've been suffering from since 2010. And that leads back to childhood course. Um, it's very personal, so I won't get into it too much. But 
it wasn't until I found this coalition that has saved me, basically. I'm still working on it. Um, but this coalition has brought me back more than 90 percent. Uh, it's been my family, my second family. Um, the volunteer work, the administration, the uh, camaraderie, the uh, fundraising, it's been it's it's been more more than more than I can I can say. Um, uh, it's just it's brought me back. It's it's all I can say. I mean, I've I've been lost for a long time, and I've seen my cousins' um, native elders. They've they've um, spoken to me and gave me some words of wisdom and this was back in January of 2014 or December rather of 2014 when I lost my uncle her father my cousin's father and uh, basically uh, they told me I would find this coalition or this coalition would save me basically they didn't tell me that in so many words but that's what I've deduced, and that's basically what's happened. So, if you're not a member, reach out, and one of us will gladly accept you. Um, if uh, you need any type of medication from this plant in any way, you need any kind of information. The site has it. Uh, Cannabis in Canada has it. There's plenty of people, uh, administrators alike, um, on the MMAR Coalition Against Repeal that are more than willing to help uh, and share stories. So again, I urge anybody to reach out, and um, thanks for watching.